I will never get over how good that song is. Like, a lot of people don't like the Street Fighter Six themes, but I think that's one of the best songs and stages, like, for a theme ever. But hi, everybody. Happy Sunday, Anime Squad. What is going on, everyone? We are here. We are ready. We're going to be doing some Spelunky Sunday. And we're going to be playing some Tekken. We're also going to talk about the Derby World Rumble last night because, friends, I have a lot of thoughts. But first off, how are you all doing? How's your Sundays going? Hopefully, it's off to a good start. Or if it's been going on for a while, hopefully, you're having a good time. I just hope everybody is doing well. It is so good to see you, friends. And uh, we back at it. We back at it for another episode, another week of Sunday Spelunky. And we're here. I'm, I'm live at my normal time because uh, at 3 o'clock I have something to do. So I was like, all right, we got to make sure I'm live by 11-ish. Uh, so we can do Spelunky. And then, um, <clears throat> excuse me, of course, I also want to make sure I'm doing things to get ready. But I was like, we want to play Spelunky first and it's a Tekken. Uh, don't mind my voice. I'm totally fine. It just was like this when I got up. <laughs> but uh, it should pop back into normal. Uh, probably because I was screaming at the Royal Rumble last night. But I hope everybody's doing right, chilling. Uh, let's get into the Tekken, Tekken vibes. Let's get into Spelunky vibes, and then as you can see, Tekken will be later. I cannot stop playing Tekken. It's so much fun. Um, I was talking to everyone about this, but I think uh, Saturday Slam Down or Friday Night Fights might be happening. I, I feel like we have so many good fighting games, including ones I haven't even bought yet, that uh, I think we're going to make happen. And I think that would be kind of fun. Curse mark and dipped.
We were close there, and I justified those bombs that we could attack. You know the crappy part about that is like I didn't want to hit him. I just want the bomb that way so he can jump over. Not a bad run, just uh, having a rope. I don't mind going with two health, it's not my favorite, but we'll get it done. Um, Alright, let's talk about Rumpy Chat. Um, so I would theoretically say that although I thought um this might be a Rumpy Chat. Right? A little too early. Hi Spoofy. Thank you for the lurk. How you doing? Happy so Okay, so Roy Rumble real quick. But before we do that, I have to give a huge shout out to my good friend. It's an amazing streamer, probably Spoofy. I'm sure to check her out. Spoofy is absolutely amazing. Playing a lot of cool games. Playing at Arc Survive. You love to see it. Hope you're doing well, friend. Welcome in. And I uh, hope uh, you're having a lovely Sunday. Alright, so Rumble, right? Rumble was good this year. I had a good time at it. Um, I think the surprises were cool. Jordan Grace was a cool surprise. I was happy to see her. Um, I think it was awesome to see. I don't know if it's like a partnership they're doing or Triple H just being like, yo, TNA, can I borrow one talent from your roster? Oh, you want to bring the Women's Champion in for another year? It was fun when we did that. Yeah, let's do that. Um, I think it's cool seeing stuff like that. You got destroyed. Um... And I really like how they did it. You know, they bought her in. She had a good showing. It's not like they bought her in and she got eliminated. Like, she was eliminating people. Um, the stuff with her and Ivy Nile was dope. Um, 
Jordan, you feel like she's just having uh, a good time. Like, Jordan Grace is kind of good. Good for her. Definitely good show. I need to be very careful. Go, 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 go. Woo. Yikes. Don't try that at home, y'all. Um, so, I was hyped to see my girl Naomi back. Um, the little gloves. She's officially back in WWE. Shout out to the Naomi stand. <laughs> it was good to see her back, um, and overall, it was just good to see uh, see the Rumble do well. I, I was hyped about Bailey winning. I think I think it's a good chill like decision because um, Bailey is very talented. People forget during that. Uh, oh, oh God! I didn't make that jump. <laughs> I knew that was going south for some of that Okay, we gotta get out of the mind today. Be serious, bro. But, you know, people were getting that pandemic era, like Bailey and Mercedes Monet, formerly known as Sasha Banks. Um, they, they dominated that era. Like, it was just really cool. Um, so much pressure. Uh, it was really cool to see them, like, do well. And I think Bailey has always been, and Triple H said it best, she's always been, like, a selfless person. Like, she's always given. You know, there were a lot of feuds going on. She was the type of person who, uh, she was the type of person where everyone wanted to kind of like fight. Um, and she always made everyone look good and help out and stuff. So, seeing her get rewarded for that and just due to her years of hard work is dope. So, I'm happy for her. I think Bailey versus Dio is going to be the Mania match. And I think that's a good decision. Um, and I think her winning the big one is going to be dope. That'd be fun. Outside of that, um, the Rumble itself was pretty good. But speaking of debuts, we gotta talk about my uh, personal favorite one outside of Naomi's return and Bailey winning. We, we need to talk about uh, Miss J Cargill. You know, hey, how uh, you know? <laughs> I folded like a, a freaking chair. Uh, we may have to. Well, we can get in here. I folded like a laundry like bastard chat. Um, she popped in the screen. So listen. She's just she's perfect. <laughs> no other way to say it. Um, but yeah, your boy folded and I was proud to fold. Um, but in all seriousness, I think she's gonna be so dope. She just looks cool. I don't know if she got the cause her theme sounded like her AW theme. Which I think Tony Khan sometimes is a trademark music. So I don't know if that was just her theme, but it sounded like. Oh, that's kind of sick. But she got to keep it. Because her theme is pretty, uh, pretty solid. But she looked great. Uh, the stare down with Bianca is everything. I mean, we want to talk about foreshadowing. That is a. Oh, I grabbed the glove by accident. I hate it. We need to go buy robes, so, yeah. Let's get this guy. Not bad. Look at us actually being civil to the shots. Who would have thought of 2024? Insane. Well, the next one we definitely got to rob. But, at least now we can be friends. Um, but yeah, I, that stare down with Bianca Belair is everything. That's definitely, in my opinion, a future of the main event. That needs the main event night one to be the WrestleMania 41 or WrestleMania 42. Um, it, you could just you could tell a really good story with that. I, d I have one health. I did not know I had one health. I thought I had two. No, okay, we seriously need to get these monsters. <laughs> I hate it. See, that's what I get from this. I should have fought him and robbed him like I always do. So, hey. I don't speak about this. Thank <laughs> you. 
Whoa. Okay, well, robbing him probably wasn't the right move, but it was worth it. Okay, I need to get out of here. But anyway, um, yeah, J. Carl gave Bianca Belair my favorite future in WrestleMania. It's going to feed everybody else. It's going to be great. But she looked great in her first show. I mean, I think she did a really good job of, like, I mean, the fact they had her eliminate Naya, and Naya had, like, a lot of eliminations, pretty much shows you how, like, big fans they are of her. Like, it just seems like, you know, Triple H is like, yeah. I remember, like, back, what was it? I forgot how long it was. They were like, yo, we wanted... They wanted her in WWE. Mm -hmm. I'm not one of my options, but I need to. I don't know where the uh, chest is up. Like I said, all uh, get the shot. I, yeah, I don't see the chest. Definitely below. Um, but yeah, overall, like I said, Women's Royal Rumble, very good out. Very good. Um, definitely. Oh! Hmm. Ouch. That's an explosive way to start the day. Ready, what's going on? How you doing? After that explosive strike, yes. Um, yeah, I thought the Women's Royal Rumble was the better of the two. Joseph will continue to make the All-Man for the first time and died immediately. Oh, no. Hey, listen, making it the All-Man for the first time is a good achievement. Congrats, though. Getting better? And definitely, listen, every time you make it to a new milestone in the game is definitely worth a celebration. Whether it's making it to All-Mac or getting out of the, the mines or whatever. Um... It's definitely worth celebrating, so keep up the good work. Yeah, it's probably 
actually a fire. Oh, two. I was very confused for a second. Like, it's gotta be near here. solid. Um, I don't like Logan Paul at all as a person, but as a performer, he's decent. Um, I'm not mad that KO didn't get the title, but really good. I feel like the only person to take the United States title off him is LA Knight. Like, LA Knight is definitely going to be winning that every year. I feel like they're not going to give Knight the title right now. Um, like, the main title. I feel like they're going to be like... Okay, here's what we're gonna do. He's either gonna get US title and then I think for IC title. Um for Gunther. They're kinda of planning to see the Braun Breaker. Might be the one to do it, but I would love Camelo Hayes. I mean either of them would be cool. But I think Melo Melo would be money. But I could also see Melo winning like a money. You know what? That's fine. It's a little troublesome, but that's okay. Great. So we can make the black market. Uh, pretty much buy whatever you want there. That's a start. Jetpack, shotgun. We might, eh, we might rob them. Potentially. Depends.
pets around, I need it. Damn, I thought it jumped over. That's next. I do not like doing that. <laughs> Buy this and shock to me, man. I'm so upset. That was like one of the worst things you could get. Not bad. Oh my gosh. Stressful. I don't know why the dwellings have become stressful these past couple of runs, but they have. It's <laughs> like, what is going on? Like, why? Why are they doing this to us? Ow, ow, ow. 
Okay. This guy's on my list right here. You see him? You got revenge. Good job, bud. I miss you. I'm so sad. <laughs> still move it, it, it takes us some time chat but we still we still make a million dollar moves okay no no no, no. Okay. okay the crappy part is we can't like a lot of power right now with the turkey in the shot. I'm pretty proud of that. Jetpack will be the ultimate power so we don't have that. You shall live with it. The key is here with the shotgun. Got my answer pretty quickly. Please be bombed here. Oh man. Could have probably made that jump without it, but risking it at that point, not me. I did not know there was two of y'all. Holy crap, my fault. I thought there was just one. Ouch. I did not see that shop down there at all. <laughs> Logan Paul was alright. Uh, I liked it. KO always has a good match. Um, I think it was cool. I don't get the point of having it like, a tournament, though. To 
do it. It's like, okay, you made this tournament for the United States title, but you didn't win it. I'm going to do this for us. Absolutely rocking with that. Thank you. What's going on, brother? How you doing? Makes sense in my head. <laughs> Dude, my phone was going. Whoa! Hmm. Yo! <laughs> I thought he died. He like fell. How did? Okay, first of all, why is it his ankle broken? Oh my god, that actually scared me. Oh man. Ah, <laughs> not ready for that. <laughs> no, get away, bro. <laughs> you gotta get him for me, man. This has to be end game. I gotta win through it. All right, hold on. Stay patient. Unnecessary, yup, there we go. No, unnecessary moves. Two more hits. Come on. Oh my god, that's that actually scared me. I had to check my heart because I just saw him pop out of nowhere. And it actually like terrified me. Oh. <laughs> okay, we gotta wait, but we also do only have a minute left. Can you hurry up? One more. Come on. Yes, happened. That run was weird. A lot happened. We, we almost got away with it. Come on, friends. We shotgun did it. That will help you. I still think it was a good match though. Um, I'm kind of shocked that like, since they had the title match, like Randy, LA Knight, and the rest of them, they didn't put them in the rumble, which I find interesting. Like I feel like if they didn't win, they should still get their rumble spots.
scouts, man. You are on the list. See any place to sacrifice? Oh, this one's a joke. Let me jang got a guy. I hear hunter say, I can die. Like if I don't sacrifice him, then. Remember, only things I can say is make sense. Take that risk, person. Because I know. Come on. Come on. You should be dead. Whoa. And yeah, we're doing well. We just don't have any like items or anything. Money though is looking great. I'm not taking a machete, but I'm not though. I'm just gonna take it for like the first half and then get rid of it. What's up, bro? Come on. Move. What? I don't know why he didn't jump. I, I don't understand. It. Like, make it make sense. What are you doing? Oh, this is even worse. Okay, you got it. Ah. Uh -huh. I, I hate everything. We'll do one more run for switch over time. Cause uh, yikes. Um, but yeah. Men's fit of forward, it was dope. Um, and then the men's rumble. I liked it. Um, I think the final, like, five made sense. Sammy at number 30 was kind of shocked. Like, I was very shocked. Because I was talk like, talking to my friends, right? And I was like, who the hell's going to be number 30? Because Cody was 15, Punk was 27. Um, and the only reason I noticed is because I had a chance to win $100 before Unfortunately, but I remember, um, I don't know. I just remember, uh, like telling my friends when we were watching last night, I was like, who the hell is going to be the last person? Because the, the two people projected to win are like, I don't know. They're just out like already. So like, there you go. So I'm thinking to myself, Unless I got any big surprises, that's it. Um, so Sammy at 30 was fine.
have to do it, but I do want to like this first. Okay, I think it's like maybe below here. If not, at least we're close to it. Alright, we should be good now. Yeah, I thought Cody Punk as the last two made a lot of sense. Um, I felt like they were telling a good story, and it was very much alluded to on Raw and just in general with those two. Um, I thought they had a good like final two. I thought Punk had a good showing, like his first rumble back, um, and it also I don't know. It felt good to see like like a year ago if you would have told me those two would be at. Not only just WWE, but if you would have told me they would have also been, um, like, basically headline and stuff, or basically, uh, especially Punk, like, in a world of Punk, let alone one of the final two, I would have, like, laughed. So, absolutely great for those two. Um, I think Cody winning was the right move. Um, I still think Punk was my pick move. I think having Cody go back to back um, at Rumbles, doing a yeah, select few would have to do it. I also feel like they're pretty much getting him ready. Like, as great as Roman Reigns' title run has been, um, whether people love him or not, he's been a great champ. They just a historic run. Cody taking that is going to be like a big deal. Like, the way they have it set up, the way it's looking, the way like everything is going, it's going to be a big deal. So yeah, that was kind of cool. I think Punk still wins Elimination Chamber. I think that's the story they're going to tell. They're going to have Punk win Elimination Chamber. It's going to be Seth versus Punk uh, for the title at, at Mania. I think it's going to be the play. And I think that's going to main event night one. I think Roman and Cody is going to main event night two. That way, you still you accomplish a couple things, right? Punk gets the main event that he's been earning and, and won it for a long time. You build Cody as a bona fide star. And on top of that, you built Seth and Roman up as like the two hold the title. They get their big moments and stuff like that. Give me the shotgun, bro. That's just gonna be kind of like the way for WrestleMania. Um, and they even, you know, what the funny thing is, they alluded to it because they had Seth really looking at Punk, and then they had Cody looking at Roman. That's why it made me laugh. There was this reporter, and, and not to make fun of the reporters, they're doing a great job. Uh, but this one reporter, Mons, um, this one reporter made me laugh at the uh, the media event because um, they were like. He went to Cody and was like, do you know what champion you're facing? And Cody kind of looked, he was like, 
yes. <laughs> and he was like, well, you didn't say. And I was dying. I was like, bro, anyone that watches, not only, oh, I'm on, I'm sorry. Not only watches mm-hmm. wrestling, but anybody who can catch a lot of them, All right, fine. But like, anybody who knows the story, mm-hmm. freaking knows, you got to run it back with a Cody versus Roman. Why, why would he fight that? Like, would he see getting gain out of that? If he doesn't fight Roman, he's going to be told he could be Roman at the biggest stage of all. And that's what Cody wants to do, wants to finish the story. I'm mad at that report. Like, it wasn't like the worst question, it was funny, but I was just like, I was like, bro, what? <laughs> Get him out of here. Okay, okay. That's not good. This is so not good. Um, and I have a rope. He's so great. There's, how do you have hops like this? How are you here and then here? Make it make sense. Cross him. Ha, sucker. Yeah. Okay. I may say go fuck the hell out of it. That might be the best. I should have just let him like get hurt to death. He was, he was dumb. Ain't got it. I. Spunky, you got it. 